I'm John Carlos and I'm here to bring and present to you the new and improved Ford EcoSport. So here's the most important question. Is it economical or is it sporty? Join me today for we will take this little girl for a spin. We will take her in a lot of different places where we could go by just say 500 pesos worth of gasoline. Let's see where she takes us. Let's cue in the montage, baby. Let's go. I would like to thank Ford Philippines for lending us this very, very beautiful Ford Eagle I mean, it's so beautiful, I just want to kiss it. But never mind, I'm driving. So, um, hi guys. I would like to talk about the new Ford Eagle Sport. First things first, I want to say how beautiful the color is. First thing I saw that really caught my attention was the color. I love the color. It's color red. It kind of has that Iron Man color red finish feel. It makes me feel like I'm Tony Stark inside the car right now. And I feel really, 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 really awesome. It, it, I love the color. It's just, it's just really, really perfect. Enough of the color talk. I'm sorry about that. We are actually on our way to one of the first few places that we can go through. We are going to Vermosa. So in case y'all still don't believe me after the small hatch challenge, I'm gonna take a video again of my current gas uh, status or whatever. So yeah, now we're on our way to our first destination. This is what it feels like to drive an EcoSport around the city because it really is built for driving around the city. It's, they say it's very economical and also very sporty at the same time. So let's test that out, shall we? very very simple I like it it looks very very clean although it's pretty weird how I'm running on like three-fourths of gas it's not even near the empty slot or something but it already has that early warning sign that I need to put in more gas so that's pretty weird but I don't mind I still have a lot of gas <laughs> everything's just really simple on the inside most of it is just plastic but you know it doesn't feel or it doesn't even look like it's plastic it really really looks nice I just I just like how I just like how simple the car is. It doesn't need to be all crazy looking, exotic looking. It's just it's, it's me. That's that's just my taste, you know. I like very simple looking cars, very simple looking designs. Start off with this head unit. Although sadly, it's kind of disappointing that it's not Apple Play or whatsoever. I don't know about you guys, but maybe I'm just getting old because I'm starting to not understand. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty complicated for me, but you know, Maybe I'm just pretty old. I don't know how the youngsters do it. But still, I like I like how simple it all looks like. And it's just from the buttons, the the noise level outside on the inside. It's just really, really quiet on the inside. I like how modern cars nowadays reduces the noise level on the outside pretty, pretty great. That you can just listen and enjoy your music on the inside. The sound system of this is also very, very nice. I, I tested it out a while ago. Toned it really, really nice. Really, really great. And I love it. It's just a, it's a really, really basic commuter's car. It's a very city friendly. It's really made for city driving. That's what I can really say about this car. It's comfortable. It's built tough. Feels tough for city driving. For a tough car like this, car can really wing it. The seats. I actually like how the seats are look. Um, they have this really cool stitches. Cool, cool design 
I really love it. It's very, very simple yet again. It's just very, very simple. I like it. No cheche bureches whatsoever on the design of the car. Although there's one thing I kind of don't like is that the base of the back is really, really, it's not really that spacious. But over here on the front, it's really, really nice. It's just the back that's I'm concerned of. The space at the back of the rear, rear seats, they're not really that good. But it is what it is. <laughs> Show you again the steering see it's just so light look at that it's very very light no stress or no not, nothing's fighting back whatsoever it's just really really <laughs> I love it good job Ford good job good job also it has dual airbags this thing has an airbag that thing has an airbag so you also feel safe around the car as well the locks are in here too so We went to Fernbrook, which apparently didn't happen, so we went to Vista Alabang instead. We also went to Evia. I gotta say, the gas range isn't all that economical. As you can see down below, um, there's a small video right here. The gasoline is pretty much close to the end. So I could kind of say that it's not that much economical for me. Cross that out. So actually now it's just really just sporty if you ask me. But overall, if, if this is going to be my own verdict, I must say this car is just amazing on the city drive level. It's just really, really great, really, really comfortable when you want to go to a point A to a point B destination. It's really, really sturdy. It handles perfectly. It also has the right amount of power. I just don't know specific engine is under the hood of this guy. After driving it for longest time today, I could say it's a really good keeper. It's a really good beginner's car or a first car. City driving car likewise. For me, it has my stamp. It has my John Carlos approved stamp. This car is really, really nice. Again, I want to talk more about that, in that exterior. Okay, so lastly, I want to talk about those side mirrors. That's one thing I kind of don't like though because it feels like it feels like you're trippy. That's probably the best description that I could ever describe my feeling when I see the side mirrors. It feels trippy. It feels concave. I, I don't know. Every time I look at the mirrors, I feel disoriented, sort of disoriented, but you know, I don't know. That's just my honest opinion about it. I don't know how you guys feel, so if put it down in the comments, if, you know, what's your opinion about the side mirrors. But for me, I just don't feel it. It feels trippy. <laughs> yeah, it feels really trippy. It feels weird. Nakaka disorient. There we go. So there you have it, folks. That's my verdict and that's my review for this car. It's a new Ford EcoSport. As a reward for making it to the very end, 
I have a very, very amazing plot twist for you guys. You thought that I'm just alone in this car? <laughs> well, not at all! Woo! Gotcha, baby! <laughs> Yeah, I'm in.